All right. It's the Cares None Be Dope podcast. I am your host, Chris Cares None. And I got a special guest today, Mike McNamara, my roommate, my day one, my brother. How you doing, man? I'm good, man. Happy to be back on. It's been too long. We have a lot to go over. It's nice. Yeah, man. Last time you came on, uh, how did you feel going into it versus how you felt after as far as being on the podcast? Oh, yeah. You know, I think, and I'm an extrovert, we're very out- outgoing, but when you do something new, like going on TV with someone famous, you know, <laughs> it can be nervous, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, for like anybody. Right. So, um, but afterwards it felt good. Like, man, I did it, you know, and you kind of do it. this on your like Instagram stories. Like you do, yeah. you know what I'm saying? But this is a much bigger audience. So. Yeah. It's, it's something, <laughs> man. It's fucking, it's, it's, it's crazy. Uh, but yeah, so one of the main reasons, first of all, I could talk, we, every time we talk, we, we can talk, talk forever. Hours, but a good one is the no drinking, the sobriety. Oh yeah, man! So kudos to you for getting me on that. Specific yeah, yeah. Tell life. tell the story. Tell the story. Well, look and talking to the mic. People, uh, people know yeah, us, you know. Um, or they've known us, right? You know, listen, we have partied. We partied a lot in our life. You know, from age eighteen to thirty-five, we went hard. You know, um, Campbell stopped this summer. You know, um, he had his reasons. Um, and of course I'm like, damn, well, I can't be here sloppy drunk and he's over there, you know, killing life. So <laughs> I told him in August, I'm like, I don't know when, man, but I'm going to have to stop. He did. Now. He did. Like, thanks for fucking up my life. You know? <laughs> no, I bored. clutched no, your life. life. Fucking yeah, clutched no. your life. <laughs> no. But, uh, yeah. So now, um, started in December, middle of December, um, and been sober since. So what, over what, two months. Over two months now. Would you recommend it for someone who has a drinking problem? Oh my God, it's the best decision ever. It is just, it is amazing. You have to do it. You have to do. There's, there's, there's so many benefits that we all know, like <laughs> sleeping better, or waking up early, fucking running three miles. Um, God, and just you know, and for me, there's so many things. Each day is a different one, and that's what I like. But it's just the the mental clarity to know that you can do that. Mm. Like the hardest, like to to me, you know, that's was the hardest thing for me to ever do because that was a part of my life for 15 years. You know, it's just it's just you. That, that's what you do. You drink, you hang out, whatever. Right. Um, and to just say, Fuck and that's it, not even just you. Know? That's like everybody. Like it's every, alcohol is world. is yeah. so embedded into what we do. Yeah. And it's a poison. Yeah. When you think about it, it's actually the and I've read a lot, obviously, about this now that I've stopped. Um, it's the worst drug drug that you could do. It is the worst drug that you could do. Like it's the most drinking. people die from it. It's by far the amount of deaths. Um, you know, alcohol is the only drug that actually makes you want to fight. It's the, it's the only drug <laughs> that actually makes you violent. Every other drug, it doesn't make you violent. You know, you smoke weed, you go to sleep. Yeah. You do coke, you fuck bitches, right? <laughs> well, you try. You try to. <laughs> you usually do it with bitches. You know, you pop some pills and you on a cloud nine and you and you do shrooms and you're seeing aliens. So, like, alcohol is the only one that makes you want right. to knock somebody out. Think what about, like, that. meth? What does meth do? That one, I don't know. <laughs> I think that one, I think that one, you lose your teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you can always tell a meth that addict, one. right? I don't know. Like, you can always, like, yeah, that nigga does meth. Like, there's some things, and it's funny, too, I'll be, uh, like how we talk about drugs. You know, li- hey, listen, when I was 18, I knew I was going to do drugs, okay? I knew it. It was something I wanted to do. <laughs> I said, I want to, because, li- hey, listen, and, like, hear me out. I just don't want to die and not ever say I did coke once. Right. Like, what if it's phenomenal, right, or fucking ecstasy? I mean, the word is, the name of the thing is called ecstasy. How can you not try that? <laughs> yeah, like, like wait, 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 that's like I want to try that. Ecstasy <laughs> is the highest point of pleasure, yeah. right? Yeah. And nigga, if you don't want to like <laughs> if you could live with COVID in your whole life and not try ecstasy, you out of your fucking mind. <laughs> like, please. Ecstasy <laughs> is fucking phenomenal. Oh, it's great. And when you get some good ones, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and you like out with what friends and you guys are having fun and you take a vicious pill? Yeah, it's what? just too good. It's like it's like you're floating. Just doo, 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 I remember you know? being in Vegas. <laughs> I remember being in Vegas, and we'd always pop pills and shit in Vegas. Yeah. And I oh, remember yeah. when one of them popped, and, and I got, like, super high in the club, <laughs> right? But the, for people who don't know, psych, uh, is this psychedelic? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But ecstasy gives it makes you, like, happy. 
Yeah. And and then you almost it's like whatever you're doing, like once that shit hits, whatever you're doing is like the yeah, like the best shit in the world. Yeah. You could be talking to someone, yeah. you could be fucking you, yeah. whatever, whenever yeah. it hits you like, whoa. It's like I, I know exactly and that's how I feel too. That's how everyone feels. It's like, you know, I'm already probably the most touchiest, feeliest dude, probably everyone knows. <laughs> Everybody knows, knows that. I love to give hugs and kisses. To <laughs> <Yeah>. um, <laughs> fucking weirdo. <laughs> yeah, you know, hey. Um, During COVID though, you gotta oh, yeah, <laughs> you might hey. get shot. <laughs> <laughs> um, but then, like, you pop a pill, and it's like, like I want to hug and kiss every person on earth. Like, I love everybody. Yeah, you, you like, really you're just did. like, whoa, do I love you a lot <laughs> for right now? You know what I mean? Right, right. It makes you feel so good. So it's like, you know, back to what, what, uh, what we were saying about the no drinking is that, yeah, like, I knew I wanted to try shit, right? I didn't want to be a fucking crackhead or a drug addict. You know what I mean? I don't think anyone does, right? But I knew at 18, I want to try shit and see how it is. It might be fun, you know. Right. Um, but then that's how you lead to having a problem after 15 years of drinking. So, right? So um, <laughs> here I am, uh, two months sober, right? AA meetings and shit. No, I'm kidding. But, um, <laughs> <laughs> but you know, I, I mean, it's and, and what is that about alcohol that is glorified? Like at age 12, I remember like, oh, we can't wait to get 18. Yeah. To well, it's probably a lot to do because you because you can't do it. Yeah. You know, it's I like, oh, right. you, you can't do it until you're 21. So then just that alone makes it like a it's forbidden fruit. I think you're right. Yeah. And then and, and they, the, the commercials and shit, it the was like movies, a cool thing. The movie yeah. it's like a cool thing to do. People out in the club dancing with bad women and you a, drink a, it. adults are fucking yeah. always getting it. So it's as like, a kid, you'd want to. Right. It's like, oh, I want to go and do that. Right. You know, yeah. like they're having fun. So it's. It's just, and that's why it's so deep. Like, liquor is the hardest one to quit. One, because it's the most common and it's legal. But two, it is so embedded. In, yeah, it's in the core. Like, you're borderline weird if you don't drink. You know what I mean? That's like, really? It's shocking to people. Like, so you don't drink? Like, why? Is something wrong? Like, no, ain't nothing wrong. I just don't want to, you know what I mean? Right, like, right. <laughs> I know what I've noticed about not drinking, because I, you know, the first thought you would have is, are people going to be like, am I weird? Am I not? You yeah. to go through that yes. feeling. Like, yes. it's being socially different because, you know, everyone else is drinking, right? Yep. But what I've learned after you get over that initial feeling of that, th- to me, at least we're getting older and people are, like, yeah. kind of respect it. Yeah, yeah. You know, a lot of people yeah. are like, oh, shit, yeah, I, I wish I could. Yeah. How many times have I heard that? Like, yeah. I wish I could do it. And it's That's like, so man, true. if you just fucking, if you just understood how I feel. So let's talk about it. When you're drunk and you get that initial feel good, we've been discussing like what that really is. And, and yeah. then when you're on the other side of that and you yeah. can still have fun, you start to realize, is that shit really fun? Yeah. Like, is what you're feeling really the correct feel, if that makes any sense? And then, you know, one step further, the side effects of that afterwards, too, right? Like, again, and there's a lot of them. You know, most people don't have a drink or two. You know, they have eight. Right. Like, right. We, it, you know, it, it looks at our tolerance was high. Like I could drink a bottle of Jack and I'm, <laughs> right, and I'm right. just getting started. To, <laughs> right, you know? right, right, right. Now, now it's time for Coke. You know, like it's, <laughs> right, you know what right, I mean? Right, like right, now, right. I, I, now I'm ready. Right, you know, right, right. Um, and it's just it's it, 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 and people just don't understand that, you know, you just stopped. Right. Like, how did you just stop like that? And um, it's not you guys. Hey, listen, it's, it's hard to like it, the shit ain't easy. But it ain't as daunting or as hard as you make it out. You know, that's what I've learned these two months, right? And I'm only two months, right? Two months out of a million coming. But, um, I, I mean, I, I the last time I, I didn't drink for two months, I was 17 years old, right? right. Like, well, oh. well, I think it's because you, you, when you got into it, and I think maybe you seeing me helped a little bit. Yeah. But yeah. You, you, what you need is a reason to believe why is it worth going through that feeling to get over that. Yeah. So like oh so so let's say I don't drink these first few times with people and it's fun and I'm quote unquote missing out. Right. Why am I doing that? Right. It is because I could be turning up with them having a good time. So then what it feels like you have to do is remember what the goal is and cause and and, and then try to figure out are they really having a good time? Right. Are they not? Right. You ever like so now when you're sober you ever, have you been around motherfuckers who have been wasted? Yeah. Yeah. That was us times two. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. So it's like, oh, man, now I start to see it like, it's oh, like, shit, you don't even want to be yeah, that. Yeah, it just doesn't even feel right. It's yeah. like, l- l- yeah. literally think about it. It's a poison Yeah. that we ingest. A lot of it. <laughs> yeah. A lot. <laughs> a lot. 
<laughs> as a as like just a, as a country as a as a world probably binge drinking like that's how that's the only drinking that I knew you know and and not like not and like not even trying like I could kill two bottles of wine that's just it doesn't right. feel like a lot to me that's an alcoholic <laughs> that's yeah, not okay right. you know mine was getting bad man my <laughs> and and we had different issues with it yeah. My issue was all, and I've talked about this to Abnazium, is that how you say it? Yeah. Abnazium, something, like something like that. Uh, <laughs> that it, I use it as a social lubricant. Yeah. You yeah. know, and it got so bad, like I would go on a date, right? And then I would have to stop <laughs> at the liquor store, right? <laughs> and grab like the fucking alcoholic <laughs> man pack. <laughs> you know, you know, like the six dollar vodka. It was, it was getting there. Yeah. And uh, and I would drink that on the way to wherever I was going. Let's say it was a city, so that gives you 20, 30 minutes, and so, it would ki- right, and it right, would right, kick right. in as I was walking in. Right. Which means it, when when you really when I when I break that down, why did I need to do that? To, why did I need to be drunk going into the situation? Whereas that was never your problem. Right. You like to drink once you when got, I got there. Got there. Yeah, yeah. So you didn't use you don't really use you didn't use it as a social lubricant like that. Yeah. No, not not in the same way. And the reason why I was like that for the better half of my adult life was that I have every time that I've pre drink or pre drank, I don't know if I'm saying that right, I would end up being wasted that night. Like, and I don't, and I don't, you know, I don't like, I don't think anyone likes being wasted. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, Wait, I remember getting to a couple so, of times. Oh, <laughs> oh uh, God. And I am, like, I know I'm vicious. <laughs> like, I am not an easy person to handle. I'm, Wait, who is, though? Uh, you know, no, I'm but, 6'3", hey. 250. Like, I am not easy. Wait, wait, wait. Yes, yes. But, but who, but who is? <laughs> right. I know. When you're that all fucking belligerent. All of us are belligerent, We're bad. all horrible. Everyone's bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and that's and listen, man. Like when you're 22, okay, that's fine, right? I mean, you're young. 25, okay, all right. 29, <laughs> might have a problem. Right, might you, have a problem. 30, <laughs> hey man. Hey. <laughs> hey, listen, Mike, I love you, but 35, you know, kill 35, yourself. <laughs> all right. Wow, you know, it's just, you're. I mean, you were a fuck up, you know. Um, <laughs> So it's uh, you are a royal fuck up. Like you're a loser, dude. No, um, but 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 <laughs> you, you can only do ba- what you can do based yeah. on the tools that you have. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. So you have to come across something to give me a reason to not do the right. dumb shit. Right. Yeah. You know, at least that that's for me. Like I had to. So I mean, I've been going through trying to get financing recently, yeah. trying to learn all yeah. these things that I just did not know. Yeah. yeah. And it, you know, I just didn't know what to do. So as far as getting away from being a drunk or an alcoholic or drinking. You just got to think about the benefits, the pros versus the cons, and yeah. it, it doesn't match up at all. It's literally not even close. It's like a 1,000 to 1. <laughs> right. And even that 1. And that 1's like a bullshit 1. That's kind of fucked up too, right? So you know again, what I mean? you save a fuck ton of money. Oh. <laughs> You're clear-headed at all moments, right? And in the future, you get more clear-headed. You start seeing, like you don't have like a fog of like what your goals are and shit. Yeah. Like when you're fucked up and yeah. wasted, you like you, then you spend two days. Yeah. You can't, you know. Like w- and I go, that's the the fucking time wasted is the mm, worst. To time me. wasted out of everything. Like the money's awful, and I've spent way too uh, way too much. All of us have, but time. Like you can't get time back. Like I can make money, but the days I spent hungover, I could have yeah. had my dog that's gone now and seeing my parents. You know, whatever, whatever yeah, it is, whatever it is, you've better than it. fucking sleeping. Right, hurt and hurting, hurting when I'm 26 sleeping because I drink four gallons of liquor. And then know you got to go back to the job you don't fucking right. want to do on it's Monday. Just like, right. Whoa, and but you know when you're but when you're young you buy into that and you do it. Um, and hopefully, hopefully when you get older, you know I'm glad you know shit. We're 35, 36, 37 now. Um, I'm glad that we learned before you know. Because some niggas never learn. Never do. They drink till they're freaking 65 if they can freaking survive. You know, because the shit kills you too. You now, and, but but if you can have a like, so let me let's be honest. If you yes. can if you can handle a fucking drink, yes, yes, then do what you got to do. Yes. But the but you have to be honest to yourself yes. though. Yes, do you, are you really handling it, yes. or do you think you handle it? Because I, there's been a lot of times where I was like, ah, yeah. like no, nah, d- d- dude, you're buying you're yeah. buying pints of l- vodka yeah. before you go somewhere. That's a problem. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? To myself. Yeah. So I'm saying it's all about being honest. You have to, like, really break it down. Yeah. Like, what the fuck is going on? And that's been my whole thing about the honesty thing. Yeah. Yeah. And it's not just about other people, which is huge, too, but to yourself, even more importantly. Yeah. 
Yeah, I mean, if you could drink two drinks and that's it, great. That's all. You know, like I said, there's nothing wrong with drinking. Like, I drink for a long, you know what I mean? Uh, ain't no one saying that. But just for me, for him, um, it's been life-changing, you know? Like, literally life-changing. And, we, and, we, and we're just getting started. But, like, all like there's so many after effects of that, too. You know what I mean? That's just going to come as we go. It's just awesome. Well, well let's, let's be honest. What liquor tastes phenomenal? Yeah. There isn't one. As a matter of fact, you have to doctor it yeah, up yeah. to be able to drink it. Like Jack and Diet. Like a Jack and Diet. You know? Now, don't get me wrong. As an alcoholic, I could say that's a good drink. Right, that tastes good. Now, Is that a good drink Yeah. compared to the regular diet? Compared to some, like, strawberry lemonade? Yeah, or oh a fruit God. punch or some <laughs> shit. This shit's awful. It's you know? literally... It's like, yeah, and don't, you know? don't bring up shots. Yeah, oh. Oh, they're so bad. And then you got these motherfuckers who, uh, and, like, those are actually like literally, it feels like poison yeah. too. At least when you yeah. doctor it up, it don't feel like you're killing yourself. Um, but the people who are like, oh, you know what, we're gonna drink, you know, beer. Actually, no, I actually think the taste of beer is phenomenal. It's like you're lying. You're lying. <laughs> when you were 18 and you first had a beer, that shit was like, whoa. Same thing. How, same thing with wine. Me, right? Yeah, it was like. What is you this? have to acquire it. Like, what is this oatmeal drink that we're drinking? <laughs> what the fuck oh, is this? So beer was you so motherfuckers bad. drink this shit? It was so bad. <laughs> oh, God. I remember then, that. 20 years after? You, nigga, you're chugging beers. 17, 17 <laughs> cores a night, you know? Like, man, it's good. You're doing keg man, stands. Is good. Well, I think what it was, <laughs> I don't think no one gets into drinking because it tastes good. I yeah. think that you get into drinking because of how you make you feel. Yeah, it makes you, yeah. And then once you get older, hopefully more sophisticated, yeah. not a fucking retard, then you fucking you start to doctor up your drinks so it's not as just straight fucking Everclear. Right. Oh. We we used to take shots to Everclear. Oh, that's bad. That's like gasoline. <laughs> that shit'll start an engine, man. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Everclear. That shit, woo. We used to drink that shit. Oh. I used to drink that. It would come out my nose. It would go right down. <laughs> I swear to God. Just. I'm Do you like, remember that whoa. party I threw when I had the red walls? And we made pink lemonade jungle juice with Everclear. <laughs> oh, no, that's how you get motherfuckers to start fighting. Right? So <laughs> right. That's right. like that's like blackout. So I, I didn't really like. I knew it's trouble. I didn't know. You know, I didn't know. So, anyways, hump, it was all Everclear, <laughs> <laughs> no vodka. This is just one hundred percent Everclear. So, <laughs> so anyways, so Nick, bad. wait, but niggas and I doctored it up with a bunch of juice lemonade, <laughs> and niggas was like, man, this shit garbage. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, okay. <laughs> and man, it, and niggas, like, the, niggas was chugging it because it was delicious. Nick, like seven people threw up in my apartment. <laughs> like seven people threw up. I think you might have pissed. I, oh I think you might have <laughs> That was bad. And, and jungle, I mean, jungle juice, that's like fighting stuff. Like, <laughs> or, like every time I've had that, I get to that where where, where I'm at, I want, and I'm like, why? It's because it's because you're so fucked it's up. It's so it like it gets into your soul, <laughs> yeah, and like right. Satan comes right, right out. Right, like, right, right. Wow. Satan, come on out. It's like I, I don't know what it's about jungle juice. I think it's because you're mixing like tequila, and then you got all, vodka, and then you got all, all different juices juice. and sugar and like, shit. People get black. I mean, that's I, I was blacked out on that. So whew, thank God. Now I'll be on. Right. Okay, you, I've said this before. I ain't never blacked out. I it's been cloudy. But never like for hours. Yeah, you've been like no. six hours gone. More like that. Like when I'm blackout, it's like I'm still here, but it ain't me. <laughs> okay, it's okay. like Demon Mike. Like you know what I mean? Okay. Like, I, but you still kind of know. But yeah, I, I don't recall. And maybe I haven't blacked out because I don't remember because I was blacked out. But um, usually. I no, but how? Remember. Okay, but how do motherfuckers know that they blacked out then? Guess they wake up raped or something. I don't know. <laughs> no, like some no, horrible. No, no, you know, like point. true. Like, yeah, you'd wake up shit, raped. What happened? You know, <laughs> I'm fucking bleeding out of my ass. You know what I mean? <laughs> okay. Like, uh, oh yeah, because that's <sighs> <laughs> no, I, that's actually a fucked up thought. Though. It is. Yeah, yeah. Anyways, but going back to the the drinking, I'm so first of all happy for you. Thank you. Me too. Because. For one, I I know what you feel because I was where you were and yeah. I and I'm where at the same place now. Yeah. And I know, but even more importantly, I know what it took for you to beat yeah. that first one in, in in the dive in to even give it a shot. Yeah. Like like mo- some of folks won't even give it a shot. Yeah. I mean that's how I was four months ago. It wasn't even something that I was even c- contemplating. Like I, there's just there's no way. Like I said, like it was like there's no way. Like I'm gonna drink. 
Yeah, I'm gonna drink. Yeah, I mean, I'll cool it down. I don't want to drink a lot or whatever. But like, no, I'm drinking. You know what I mean? Right, right, right. Um, so you definitely realize you, know? you just figured it. Let me just slow down, if anything. Yeah. But never yeah. like I'm going to stop. Slow down, like maybe twice a month, right? And not even have to be drunk, just twice a month. You know, um, it didn't happen that way still. So I'm glad I just stopped. But um, yeah, I mean, who? I never wanted to stop. I mean, why would I? It's you know, it was fun. I thought it was fun, right? Right. Um, but it ain't really fun. It's not being hungover. It's awful. DUIs and shit. DUIs. Got one of those. Um, How many times I, you know, and listen, knock on wood. I mean, I guess I'm not doing it no more, but yeah, knock right, on wood. Right, yeah. But how many times I drove when I shouldn't have. Now, no, I feel died. like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Um, I there's At least, okay, I'll be honest. In my life. There was about two or three times that I really should not have been behind the fuck. Like, and you know, like I know wh- too. when you're in the car, you're like, whoa. When you have to keep one eye closed to see, yeah. that's when you know you. <laughs> right, and, right, right, and I've right. done that plenty of times. Like coming from, from like northern, like coming from oh. northern Illinois with one eye trying to get like, what is wrong with you? Like, why, like, <laughs> why are you driving, Mike? Like, what are you doing? Yeah. Like, what are you doing? You know what I mean? It just that shit makes you stupid. You know? Right. Well, it doesn't make you stupid. It makes you not give a fuck about, about the being stupid. Right. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> right. <laughs> no, but I, um, yeah, like, I at least two or three times that I knew, like, whoa. Now, I've definitely been dr- drunk and didn't make a little bit, but I still felt like, and again, this is wrong, but I still felt like I'm yeah, there. Right. Like, I'm okay. I'm I'm okay, you know. I, ooh, it's a little hairy, but I'm good. But there was a couple times where I'm like, like yeah, it's where I, my fucking Same eyes here. are closed. Same here. So, oh, speaking of that, guys, so here's the uh, little chart right here. So I kind of came across this Heineken Double Zero, zero percent alcohol. It was like the first week I stopped drinking. Um, I was getting me and my mom some uh, some dinner at a bar, and I'm like, hey, what non alcoholic drinks do y'all got? I'm like, I'm just gonna try it, right? Just, I mean, I haven't I haven't tried one in 20 years, you know. And I said, hey, well, have you tried this new Heineken Double Zero? I'm like, no, let me try it. Tastes like a fucking beer. <laughs> I mean, this <laughs> is a real beer. It's it's a fucking beer. <laughs> right, right, it's right. It's got no alcohol. It's cra- I've never, it's, you know, um, so for people that, d- you know, that do crave, which now I have acquired the taste of beer, right, after 20 years of, of uh, doing it, this definitely kills that, that fucking quench. So I recommend it for those who have a problem or whatever, you know, so. Yeah, uh, I, um. Yeah, I tried a couple of those. Those do taste like fucking Heinekens. I did those the uh, the the Lagunitas. I haven't tried the one yet. I'm gonna try that. That one, that one had zero calories, that so one. that was oh, kinda, that, that's good. That was kind of good because those still, still got, got sixty nine. Yeah. It's still a beer, damn it. It's like a light beer, beer. Yeah. right? Right. You know, uh, but they uh, so, but they figured it out. So so I um, tried it, and uh, and it was straight. It was, pre- but the, it was but but the good. problem for me is I was never that big in the beer. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So that's so, so for me, it was like, why am I drinking this? I, I really don't wrong. like it. Yeah. yeah. So you're and the totally only reason wrong. I'd be drinking it is to fit, you know, right. to fit yeah. in. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And that's like the whole thing I'm trying to beat is that feeling. Right. Right. So I'll just drink fucking club soda. Yeah. Although they do make a non-alcoholic whiskey, vodka. I just figured this shit out the other. Somebody just told me the other day. <laughs> I, I've been waiting for that. <laughs> it's out. It's out. Because uh, I was, I was like, man. Uh, I want to make it old fashioned, but you know, because I actually enjoyed making right, it. I right. just, you know, and actually, again, it was an acquired taste, but I actually enjoyed them for being acquired. I know what you mean. Yeah. So I was like, if I could still, just kind of like how you get that feeling for yeah, that. It just, it just, it kills those taste buds. You know what I mean? Right, right, so, right. Especially in a situation where people are drinking. Yeah, it's per- I mean, it's perfect. Because you know, sometimes we have to think about the other motherfucker. Yeah. Yeah. Last time they're worried about. Uh, at least I'm gonna talk to my spouse. Yeah. They'll look from. They'll look at me. You know what I mean? Like, right, is it cool to drink? Yeah. You know, you've got. Yeah, you know, we're talking. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And personally, I'm like, no, I drink. Please drink. Please drink a lot. Yeah, yeah because yeah. one, because if if because you know? if I beat it, I mean, if I'm beating this, that means I'm really crushing it. Yeah. So it's, exactly. I want I want the like you know, I'm gonna be a coke head, coke right here, and you don't do it. You're like a dog right. where right. you put the shit there and right. just don't fucking move. Yep. Um, I don't want that. Temp- I want the temptation there. Yeah. Uh, but then on the flip side, you have to worry about them. Because sometimes they'll feel awkward because, like, they don't know if you got a problem. They don't know this. They don't know, like, why is he not, why is he, you know, he's, it's a little weird. That's now the now they're not comfortable. Right. So now the whole tension, although that has not happened, like, pretty oh, much at all. Yeah, right, right. But I could see how that could be a thing. Yeah, like I said, how crazy is that, that, Pete, that, you're, that you're considered weird for being normal? 
<laughs> right, it's a good point. <laughs> right, right. Like, like it's like, right, it's unnormal to want to drink poison. I hate to break it to you, but you're born sober. <laughs> right, right. So like that's how you're. Supposed why do you to be, think you know niggas I mean? get? Why Why do you think niggas get caught up in in alcohol and just, like? What, what would you say you, you think it is? I think most people it happens by mistake. Like I think most people, I don't think anyone or most people I don't say anyone. You know, is sixteen or seventeen saying, "Man, I can't wait to be an alcoholic at 25. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I've ever Ooh, heard that. I can't wait to just be a sloppy drunk. Right. You know what I mean? <laughs> like no one, I don't think anyone ever thinks that. They think that they can control it and they can stop when they want to, right? right? Yep. And then, boom, ten years after, boy, how? how? You just had ten years of a habit. You've done this for ten years. You're not going to just stop overnight. It's a habit now. You know I mean? <laughs> right, right, right. That's part of your. I mean, that's like eating food. You're going to do it. You're going to drink. That's how it is. And that's how. Like literally six months ago, I never thought I would have quit. You know, um, thank God I did. But it's just I, I never would have thought of it. You know? When did you? When did you get the? Because uh, I know, like at first, when you first tried, you get the feelings like, oh, I can go back. I can just stop whenever. Da da da. Yeah. When did you believe in the time frame from starting to now? That you were like, you know what, this is the move. Well, you know, look, I know obviously I, I made a public post that I was quitting, and that's what I like to do because I like to have to keep myself a- accountable. At the end of the day, if I wanted to drink, I'll fucking drink and, pu- and, pu- and fuck all y'all, right? So it, it ain't that big of a deal. I, but I just said, you know what, I'm not going to, like this time, I'm going to change, you know? 35, I'll be 36. You're saying because, you know, you know I, people have said in the past, like, yeah. we'll change, and, yeah. and we don't. Yeah. I just said, this time it's going to happen. In my life, it wasn't going right. You know what I mean? It just wasn't. I mean, listen, I put on a great show. Like, everybody, you know what I mean? I can, you know, my, my, my life has not been terrible, but things were not where I wanted them to be. Right. You right. know, and why is that? Right. A lot of reasons. But I can tell you one thing that's always been involved in that is the liquor. So every time, every time the liquor is involved in fuck ups in life. And, you know, every time, every time, like I, well, I was asking you the other day, like, when is the last time you made a bad decision sober? Like almost, it like like almost ne- like never, never guys, right? except like maybe high school. A couple here and there, but but like a really bad decision sober. No, no life altering bad you decisions know, unless you're just freaking stupid. But right. you know we aren't stupid, so um, yeah, man, it's crazy. It's been a, uh, and 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 then now what happens is you get a little bit of momentum behind it. Yeah. And then it gets like progressively easier. Yeah. Right? It, it feels like every day it's just a little easier. It's a little easier. Now I know other people to them they're like it's 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 a hard struggle every day kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. And like sometimes I feel that way with food. Yeah. So I'm starting to think was the liquor was that my problem if it was easy for me to quit because I do have an issue that's harder for me to quit. Or is it because you still have to eat? That's what makes it hard. So I have a food addiction, but you still have to eat. So it's like you can't cold turkey it. I can't cold turkey that. <laughs> right. And you know, my whole thing is I'll you cold. eat, yeah. But I'll cold turkey the fuck out of something. Yep. You know me. Yep. I will do if I want to go in. But it's like that one, I, that one like, that's like the control. That's like, what? Because I, I know I got the, well, it hit, it, that's me bullshitting though. Because if I got this, the, the switch to say cold turkey some. I should have the switch to tell myself to stop yeah. those 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 urges, and I can't sometimes. The fact that you even think about what you're thinking about and how to beat them, <coughs> you're way ahead of most people, man. You know, you know what I'm saying? Like you think about, you know, why can't I stop this? And that and that manifests inside you, and that's how you make change. And not pe- not many people can do it at all, <laughs> or especially how you do it. Um, this motherfucker can just cold turkey that shit. I'm like, how do you just? Stop taking pisses all of a sudden. You know what I mean? like, <laughs> or or sh- or just start you know? some shit. Right? Yeah. Just I just have like the, the, the then, go do it. And like on point, on point, on point. I'm gonna run a mile. I'm gonna run a mile. You know what I mean? It's <laughs> right, right, right. He's very good at that. So, but uh, but I'm not very good at it all the time when it comes to food. Yeah. Which is crazy. How I, which says a lot. So me saying that that that's a problem, and I still lost 175 pounds. <laughs> I'm gonna give myself a little credit, but I know there's another level though. I, and fo- and listen, you know, everyone can think how they want to think. Food's a little different for me because, like you said, it's like you do have to eat. And yes, you eating burgers and pizza every night, then you're a slob and you shouldn't be. Right? You're a fucking fat slob and you should stop doing that. But fat, dirty slob. <laughs> but you do have to eat, though. You know what I mean? Like you have to eat food to survive. 
So that one's a real tough one for a lot of us, you know. I mean, myself included, you know. Oh, and then they, cause then they make the shit cheap. They make the shit delicious. Yeah. It's easy, accessible. Freaking America, man! Got a freaking burger joint on every corner. <laughs> Fuck, it's an African can't even get no rice. <laughs> we got burgers on the corner. Right, right. You know, it's crazy. Like you go to Jewel and like they, they and you've worked in fucking those yeah. retail spots yeah. like that. They're not Jewel, but they put all the the bullshit right at the door where, yeah. where you're waiting. Yep. It's like they know. Got, That's kind of fucked up. It's got like fucking Twinkies and Reese's and right at the front. Chips and Snapples, like all the high calorie shit that tastes great. They put it right, right there. Right there. I get you some chips. Okay. <laughs> 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 you just grab you some chips, you know? Ooh, get that motherfucking honey bun. Yeah. It's yeah. looking at you. So imagine that. So, and again, one time, okay, because I always thought that I was good with like, I'm like, how can people have problems? Like, my, you know, my mom did some drugs. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was super like, how could you just stop? Yeah. That's what I was thinking, right? right? Naively thinking just like, that's crazy. Yeah. Because that wasn't a problem for yeah. me. Yeah. And then seeing other people like, damn, you got a problem with that? Like, just stop. Yeah. You know, and I and I kind of judged. And, and I'm yeah. not like, I'm not an asshole, I but mean, a little bit young. like, yeah. but I'm like, damn, really? Like, all right, loser, yeah. you know? Until I realized what my fucking true addiction was. Yeah, yeah. And that was, I'm like, oh. Yeah. When you, when you... Here's an addiction. When you set out to want to do something and then you can't do it because of whatever it is, yeah. Yeah. That, that's a problem. Yeah. You know, and there's different levels of it. But if you say, I'm not going to drink for two weeks and then you drink next week, if you can't, like, you, you have a problem. I'm sorry. Yeah. And then there might be different levels to that. There's a bunch of functional people, yeah. you know, with problems. But uh, that's when I learned that, man, addictions, and they run deep. And, and then, like, if you're an educated, smart person, you can, like, yeah. convince yourself of why it's okay to fuck up. Why it's okay to do the thing you know you're not supposed to do. Why do you, let me ask you this, Mike. Why do you think we do shit that we know we're not supposed to do? Hmm. <laughs> we know, right? We know. There's, if we're being, ooh, a, there's a lot of different answers to that question <laughs> based on your upbringing and what you believe in. You know, like I can say something that's, you know, I'm, I'm semi kind of religious. Like on the on the whole bi- on the whole bi- the biblical side, um, you know that there's a fucking devil, right? And Satan tempts you to do stuff, right? So that ultimately that's what I believe. Like we are imperfect, so we're gonna do that stuff, right? We're gonna right. do bad stuff, you know. Um, other people don't believe in that, and that's fine. They think it's a choice, and yes, it is a choice, but they don't believe in any little dude telling you what to do, and that's fine. Um, but but I do, you know. I think it's just an imperfect world, and sometimes bad shit. As we said, the drinking and the partying, it's gl- its freaking glorified. It's fun, right? It's all over the movie. I mean, they have three movies called The Hangover. <laughs> right, that's kind of fucked the up. The Hangover. Like, that's a And great- it was like a fun movie. Yeah. It was fun. Even yeah, though they, in the movie, they show how fucked up it is. Yeah. They literally show how yeah. fucked up it is. Like, uh, like it's The Hangover 1, 2, and 3. It was like, Are you kidding me? Like, hit movies. Hit movies, like... Because it's showing what people really do. And they yeah. made it, and they made it cool to be fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> I remember, like, when did those first come out, too? I don't remember when those first came out. I don't know. When you, I would say I'm going 2000, 2008. I'm going to go 2010. 2010? Uh, what's the movie we're talking about? Oh, The Hangover. One, two. I guess one. When did The Hangover first come out? It did not come out. Oh, my damn... <laughs> the Hangover came out in June second, two thousand nine. Oh, so but the middle of us, right, yeah, right in between. Damn, so how, f- how about, let's talk about that and how fucking fast time is going. Yeah, man, it is, and it always does. But some, I think you know, when you're younger, you know what's great. You know, it's like when you're younger, you have a lot of fun, but you kind of take time for granted. You know what Holy I mean? Holy fuck, you do. It's like you're twenty one. You're like, because you're yeah, like, nah, I'm I'm good. I'm <laughs> I got, I have eight, nine years till I'm even thirty. And like, dude, that's gone in five seconds. It's so fast, it's right? Like, what happened? You know, <laughs> it's so fast. I mean, we're thirty-five, thirty-seven, and I'll be thirty-six. Like, what? I just remember being thirty. Like, I just remember. Being yeah, 30, I remember being you know? twenty. Goddamn five. It's crazy. We gra- nigga, so we graduated around the same year. That was like twenty years ago. Yeah, yeah, eighteen years ago now for me. You know, isn't that nuts? And nineteen for you? Yeah, man, Lo- a long time. You know. I, and, and it's funny you say like the, like the young the, like what do they say something wasted on the youth knowledge wasted or time uh, yeah. wasted something, something like that. yeah that's a, that's a really good saying too yeah what is something wasted on on youth but anyways it's like maybe beauty or something I don't know 
But like to be young again, it's yeah. like there's. I kind of like being in my thirties yeah. personally. Yeah, I mean thirties is phenomenal. That's a great. But how come when age. you're young, you just kind of like oh thirty, you're like yeah. eh, because you're getting older, you know. We look at life as stages because we have to because the shit ain't permanent. So you look <laughs> like thirty five is like the halfway point. That's what I feel. It's about the halfway point. Ooh, it's like half your life could be over, you know, like man, I think men's like 72 or something like nigga, half your life's over. So you start to start to thinking like, I mean, that's it. You know? But, but, but on the same token, I feel like all the shit that I've gained all the years, all the bullshit, everything that I've learned up to this point, I would rather be who I am now in my thirties than be who I was in my twenties. Not even close. But yeah. but then you still kind of envy being young again. Right, right. Is that because you just know that the time is going away and you just want more time? I, I think it's part of that. Yeah. You Remember know? that movie In Time, I think, with uh, uh, Justin Timberlake? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Where, it, like, that was the currency. That was actually an interesting movie. I don't know if anybody who's ever seen it. I think it was called uh, In Time or Out of Time, something like that. But uh, the currency was actual time. So until and and so you, everyone, oh, yeah. every yeah. everyone had a it's little, s- a, a, like a scale, a dial on their arm, and your time was how much you were worth. So some niggas would have like thirty minutes left, and then you die. Other niggas had infinite years. So those like the the base sources, you know what I'm saying? Uh, so he would walk around and he just had like ten, twenty thousand years or shit. Very interesting. Here's another thing too. So what they they figured it out. It's actually a super interesting movie. At the age of 32 or 28, no, no, you'd never get older than that. Ah. Yeah, so if you were 20, I think, I, let's just say it was 25. Once you hit 25, that's when your meter started. Oh, okay. So you always stay 25, so, and, but then you got to figure out, you know, so you got to either get your, and you use this currency. So if you wanted to buy a goddamn Twinkie, you would, it would cost you 30 seconds of your life. Which is kind of, it puts you into perspective, because yeah. that's kind of what we do. Yeah. Which makes me want to lead into the financing. I'm starting to learn by all the shit that I'm watching that stop trading our time for money. You know, and and start making money work for you. Yeah. Because there's there's no some like there's no if you're using your time for money, it's. Like it's it's not congruent. It's not equal. Like playing field. Yeah. So I guess that what I'm learning is is I'm I, I'm trying to figure out way. Like I, I'm I'm done working for someone else's hours. Yeah. And and, and kind of on that same thing too that I've heard of saying is like if you're only making money from nine to five, then what are you doing? You know the other sixteen hours a day, right? Right. Like there's twenty four hours in a day. Why are you only making money for seven or eight hours? You now let me ask you this. For more hours. Let me you ask you I mean? this. I kind of grew up with this weird relationship with money, and kind of think and having like this, like, like it's the root of all evil thing. And, and again, there's probably some truth it, to, to it, that. Which it, it, it probably is, right? But I don't think money is inherently fucking evil. As a matter of fact, I'm starting to because I would be like, oh, I would even t- like kind of almost look down on rich people because like y- you ain't without you know you you're so different, but I can actually do more by having my finances high, to have more freedom and more time to do the things that I want, which for me personally is to help inspire. Mm-hmm. So it actually makes sense for me to want, and I never would have thought yeah. that way. I've n- it never it always looked at money as like a. It's like yeah, you you want it because you know you don't want to work, but. I had a bad relationship with it. What was your relationship with money? Like, how did you look uh, at it? I just wanted it, you know. My, you know, I listen. We didn't grow. I mean, we were never rich, like not even close. And we were actually pretty even poor, but um, you know, we lived in pretty good neighborhoods. And you see, and you would see the more wealthier kids, and you're like, man, I want that stuff too, you know. But again, when you when you when you're young, you just I don't even think I even really understood the aspects of money i just knew that you needed it to, to buy food and to go mcdonald's and stuff you know but what about what yeah. about like like being fiscally responsible yeah well i learned that from my dad when i was in my teens um you know so like so like to how did how did what, how were those conversations I, I, it was more of me just like watching him do stuff you know got re- like my dad was a banker when he when he was younger oh so he he, he was all, in a yeah, bank. And he knew how to so he knew how to yeah. you know, 
all that kind of stuff. You know, you knew how to teach. Uh, that's that's a fucking resource. Yeah, yeah. He was a banker and he hated it. So now he's in IT for twenty five. But years. but he was still good at yeah, like but you know. He, did he, he was manager of a bank, you know. So so yeah. So I just I just you know, and I just heard the word four hundred one k and IRAs and stuff, and I'm just like, oh okay, let me see what this stuff is. You know? When did you want to start playing with the stock market? Uh, twenty five. I was twenty five. Um, 2010. My buddy at work, Daryl, older black gentleman, a great man. I miss this guy. Popular guy. He was he was actually a music promoter back in the 80s and 90s, so he knew all those old cats. But but anyway, yeah, he had like a half a million bucks in stocks, and he would show me it, and I'm like, I got to do this. You know? <laughs> all right, right. So he got me into it, TD Ameritrade, and been buying stocks ever since. You know. Yeah, I never, like for instance, they definitely don't teach you about the stock market, or oh, not not for re- nothing not real. Not even. Close. That's a, I mean that's a crime. <laughs> it's a crime. Like, how do you not? That's a crime. And I never say. So, and I bet you most people don't even really know what the fuck it even is, yeah. what the fuck it does. I had no idea. And I and I and I learned this by watching a podcast with Master P on it, right? And I had no idea that the stock market you can own you can literally own yeah. a portion of these companies, right? I don't think people realize that. You do you think it shares? I'd be like, no, like okay, you are part owner of that shit. You were the shareholder. Yeah. So like, if you had enough money to buy the most shares, yeah, then you'd be then the, you'd be the fucking. You, then you would make decisions for that co- company, right? And and it's just a matter, and, and we everyone has access to that. Yeah. yeah. Through the stock market. Right. And then uh, and it's like, that's the way. Now there's ways to do it smart. There's there's then okay. So there's days. Tra- I'm still new to this. So there's day traders and then there's just like regular uh, retail traders or right. Day traders are the ones that it feels more gambly. Yeah, and I mean, and that's like their job. Like this is what they do. You know what I mean? And a lot of times for yeah. other people, sometimes for other people, that's other funds. Primarily what it, but they do it for themselves too. Like because you, you have, I mean, and we know how it was watching this OG and me stuff, which was fun. But like I, I was at work, and I'm like, I'm not working. Like you can't. I have to watch this all because day because you got to be making sure. In five seconds, you can lose. <laughs> right. all, a hundred grand, like, <laughs> right, right. You, you can't do that, you know. Um, I mean, but that stuff's fun. It's like legal gambling. It know? is legal gambling. It's legal gambling. But my point is, is if you don't do the day, if you don't do the day trading thing, <laughs> yeah, and you, you can play like smart long terms. Yeah. You can actually like if you put the time in, did your research, yeah. looked into the companies, and looked into yes. the the management structures, you can kind of figure out what a good business is. My buddy Daryl, who taught me about stocks first. Was like, dude, you like what do you like? Like what do you like? And I said, oh, as far as what? Like, just like what do you like? Like like what do you like to eat? Or what do you like to wear for clothes? Like and why do you like that? You know? And I'm like, oh, because you know this and that. And he's like, buy stock in that company because mm. you believe in that, right? And then you start thinking, oh wow, okay. So so his wife in like 1997, she liked Coach, right? So she's like. She loved Coach bags, so they bought stock in Coach. It was I don't know, I didn't know what it was like ten or fifteen bucks. And then right? got vicious off of it. And now it's one hundred and fifty. Like, cause she, cause she believed in it. She liked. So it. that's the whole you know idea I mean? is to help businesses yeah. grow. Yeah. I think a lot of people do look at it as, a, as a making is the get rich quick thing, but the, I guess the essence of it was to it to help build. It's to help the company, you know. It's to help the company and to help you too. And it's essentially to help the whole world. Right. I mean, the whole country. Yeah. Yeah, when everyone does better, we all do better, and that's what. And that's actually, I'm glad. You, I'm glad we're t- because, like, um, I I've been pushing really big for the student loan forgiveness, right? Um, I have a, I have about fifty four grand, which is not a lot, but if they take away fifty, I'm out of student loan debt, right? And forty five million Americans will be out of student loan debt. Yeah, I saw that. And there's people on Twitter and stuff like saying, "Oh, well, I paid off my loans, but that's not fair." Like. <sighs> <laughs> First of all, that's just stupid, okay? Right. Because it benefits everybody. This doesn't benefit me. Now I can take that fifty grand and go on vacation, spend money at the bar, right, right, right. Buy non-alcoholic drinks, um, go on a dinner. Like it just right. it, buy it a means, house, buy a house, buy a get the car, market like, right. So put it in a stock for for people to think so selfishly. First of all, it's they're wrong, but it's like what, 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 you know. Yeah, like why? Like why do you give it? Like yeah, yeah, it that's wasn't your turn. Great. Yeah, that's you, stupid. You, you, you know. Guess what? Should, should, should uh, us black folks now be mad because they, you know what I mean? Or they couldn't vote right. back then? Oh, 
Sorry, like like them. Like what they say, man, that ain't fair. I mean, th- I mean, I mean, they get to vote now and be the president. Right, right, right. We can't like, come on, guys. Like, no, it just shit happens when it happens. Like, you can't. You know what I'm saying? Like, great. You know, like when I okay, so I don't have no student loans, and I, my shit was like at the most eight grand or whatever. Um, but I never would have had the thought. At least I, I'm not in a position. Now. I guess I don't have a couple hundred grand that I paid off. But I never would have been in a fi- situation where. If you get clutched, then I'm like, oh, well, that ain't fair. Right. I, I don't look at life Not that me way. Either. It's like, if anything, when I see someone else clutching, I try to, f- oh, that gives me more yeah. incentive to figure right. out, oh, I can clutch it too. That's a benefit. Yeah, I just, and we're different. Like, you, you know, we're very unique individuals, you know, um, we're a lot of fun, but we're generally caring people. Like, we care about people and animals and the world. Like, we don't want right. to hurt. Like, we literally try to help all the time. I literally, that's all I try to like, do. <laughs> like, we don't go outside being angry and wanting like we want to elevate life not right right, right. Bring it down. you know what i'm saying it's like but some people just think differently and fucked up like they're angry and they're mad and they're jealous yeah you it's get like, a, you, oh you come across those every so often oh jealousy oh that's just disgusting like, <laughs> right it's so bad it's like how do you it just it feels so bad how do you how are you jealous of somebody it's just so bad you know see to me like jealousy I, I promise you, like, let's say I was at, at the club and somebody rolls up yeah. in a mean-ass car. And this is when I'm younger. Mean-ass car. Right, right, right. Yeah. And, uh, he, you know, he just clean as fuck. You could tell this dude's doing something. He's obviously right. the man, right. you know? I never was like, fuck him. Right. Exactly. I was always like, oh, like, that motherfucker's cool. killing it. Like, I love that. Hey, man, you know what I mean? Like, right. That stuff's cool. Exactly. I'm the same way, man. At, at, as a matter of fact, one of my favorite parts of our Vegas trips, swear to God, I, don't know, I, th- I might have told you this. Is swear to God, every year I love this part when uh, everyone it'd be like six o'clock and everyone's like, all right, we're about to go up and get showered and meet, meet down at nine or something. Yeah. Yep. So we'd all go up and do our own thing, different sp- different paces. You taking showers, some people doing drugs, whatever. But at the, at the end of the day, we're all getting ready. Yep. And then you would see people coming down at different times, right? Yep. And then, like, you'd walk in. And then, you know, Marcus would walk in. And I'd walk in. And I would always get like, ooh, because we were all killing it. <laughs> I would get so excited for like everybody that. in I like here. That. I would be like, ooh, I see you. Look, yeah. you're trying to kill it. Yeah. And I've always felt that way. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I want to see motherfuckers succeed. And you know me, same here. Like, I, I, like I'm the king. I was the king. I am the king of, like, Swing. wanting somebody else to do stuff, too. Like, have fun with me. Like, I don't want to just do coke by myself like i want you to feel good too you know what i mean like i want you guys to have fun. like like who wants to do stuff like by themselves you know what i mean yeah th- the problem with that though is as much as i agree with we can okay, have share the wealth yeah i agree with that but there's also a part of that you have, you have to think about am i doing this because am i offering what i'm doing to everyone else not just because i want everyone to have fun but because it makes me feel better that I'm not the only one here doing oh, it. Oh, yeah, I guess it could be that too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah. was not, that was never my thing. I wanted people to have fun, but yeah, but that uh, could be though. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Because I know I definitely, you know, I I just I'm starting to to life feels really, it's a little off topic, but it feels really good when you're when you when you feel like you've clicked on something. Yeah. Yeah, and you're like I got and no, things it could be, are working out, and it could be whatever level yeah. pace, whatever you're doing. It could be like, oh, yeah. you want to play a video game? Yeah, and once you get to a level of, oh, okay, I'm starting to get you this now. Completed something. It feels yeah good. I love that. Yeah, yeah. And then when you could do that to your what, what feels like your soul or your life or your health or yeah, it's like man. And the thing is, it's it's a struggle. It is. So, so you got to beat it, but you have to the reward. Yeah. But it's but but the reward is so much greater, but it's the different it's not the reward you think you're getting. Right. So like being drunk that, of that like rah, that yeah. that feels like that's a reward in the beginning, but the like a, a, a but a different reward is how you feel clear when yeah. when you're sober. Yeah. So like there's two rewards, right? There's that when you're fucked up and wasted, it kind of feels like you're having fun. Yep. Yep. But I don't think that compares to the sober fun, but it's so different. Yeah. It's like in order for this to feel good for us, you have to you have to really embrace w- what's possible. You have to be OK with knowing that it's about to get better. Yeah. And what you're doing is worth it. It's not like an instant gratification. No, you have a long term. You got to be OK with the long term. Yeah. yeah. It's That's actually big. It is. 
Because, and, and that's why we would always say shit like, you know me, I'm the kind of person who would go, people say, you know what, I'm going to start this on Tuesday. Yeah. I'm going to start this on the first. And I get it, and, and, listen, and I, I ain't going to say I've never done that before. But the way I am now is if you want something, like, you're going you're gonna to do it if you want it. Yeah. Yeah. You know? I, I agree. So it's like, if it, and, 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 and listen, I get it, and this shit's hard. And I, and I think the reason why it's easy for me to get this is because I, I train my mind yeah. all the time. I'm reading books. I'm just trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. And I, and I keep trying more shit out of my comfort zone. Yeah. But it gets easier, and it, it gets way better. I'm glad you said that because I was talking to my chiropractor. He's, he's a young guy, 37, in great shape. And I told him, you know, he's like, so what's new, man? How's everything? Like, how's the gym? I'm like, oh, it's great. I told him, like, you know, I'm running three miles a day now. And he's like, what? Like, you just said one day I'm out. I'm like, yeah. You know, it's like I just I, – I started on one day. Oh, because that was, was it. You know, because he knew that you weren't oh, doing that before. Oh yeah, he had no idea. And he's like, "Wow!" And he's like, "Most people do like a half mile, a mile." I'm like, "Nope, I'm, I'm doing three miles." You know, and I haven't done it the past three days. So, um, I'm getting better with that now that I've seen you do that a lot. You know, just fucking start. Starting's the hardest part. The, just start. But and then it, I'm telling you, w- once you get to start, yeah, then it all becomes easier. Every day gets easier. Yep. You know what I mean? Every day gets easier. Every day is a str- And another thing, too, and, and this works for some people, take it one day at a time. Mm. Right? Like, don't don't think about, man, I'm never going to have a drink again the rest of my life. Oh, that's bad. Like, don't think that way. I ain't going to drink today. Especially in the beginning when you're trying right. to figure it out. Like, don't worry about because that. Don't think now about that. Because where I'm at now, <laughs> because I've gotten to a point where I believe logically, it, like, logically, it yeah. don't make sense to yeah. drink. Yeah. Especially at the level in which I was drinking. Yeah. It don't make sense. It The pros are not even close to how many kinds there are. Yep. If you continue, like, you know that. It's like, you know, one plus one equals two. If you continue to look at one plus one and you know what, and you, you refuse to say that it's two, you're going to say that it's ten? Yeah. Then you're an idiot. Yep. To me personally, drinking is illogical. It's yep. stupid. Yep. It destroys me. Yeah. Um, and just, and, 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 and not even just me personally. It destroys us as people. Yeah. Why would I ever? Oh, also, and at the same time, f- f- figuring this out, I my life has progressively gotten exponentially yeah, better. Right, right. Like, and, why, and you like, feel like, better. Why wouldn't you do something that's like great? Yeah, and, <laughs> and again, I, I, listen, I guys, you're talking to me here, like, King of Swing. I get it. <laughs> I, I know how daunting it can seem. It's like, right. I like it's like, whoa! How can I even live? But I'm telling you, after you start, you start feeling bad. Dude, it's just it's it's it gets easier. It does get easier, right? Right. And there's still gonna be some hard days for uh for me too. Yeah, but I'm gonna get through them. You know, it's not that bad. You just start, start. And it, and then especially when you get older, because now the time's going so fucking yeah. fast. All of a sudden, you're like, damn, it's been seven months. And then like once you really get over that. Yeah. Now I'll say this: it's probably been a lot easier. Because of you think because of, of COVID. Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah. So it's it's just easier because you're not yeah. at, in as many situations. We're not going out as much. We don't have to. You know what I'm saying? So that's kind of a blessing but with, in disguise. So it's kind of a blessing in disguise. Although I, it kind of real talk, yeah. right? Especially when it opens back up again, right. then you'll be okay you're to deal with it. Seven months in, like, oh, I got this now. You know what I mean? But I also, in, I still put myself in situations yeah. early on that I knew yeah. people because I wanted because I knew I'm like, okay, it's easy to beat this when it's not in your face. Yeah. Beat it when right. it's in your face. Right. Start it. Right. Yeah, I mean, sh- I think we're going out. To- I'm going out tomorrow night. I'll be at Drink of Shamber. You know, I'll be at Drink of Shamber. Y'all come out. Um, you <laughs> T- know, I, turn up. like you, like you're not gonna stop. Do like I'm still gonna go on vacation. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do all that same stuff without liquor. You know. Yeah, a uh, buddy of mine, T, was like, so we we went out that uh, not that long ago, and I wasn't drinking. I'm drinking club sodas, right. and he was drinking, and then this dude we were with, he was drinking, and he was like, "You show." And I'm like, yeah, I'm good, man. I don't drink. You know, then it is what it is. So we didn't drink, and I had a good time. I'm dancing. And, you know, it is what it is. We were talking later on that night, and he was like, man, like, like you, that was inspiring to see that, like, you really trying to get your sh- Like, you really don't need that shit. Yeah, yeah. He goes, I saw you having fun. Yeah. It's like, because I know what he was thinking, the same yeah. thing we all think, is that are right. you going to have fun again? Right. Is it going to be the same? Yeah. Like, yeah. It's, it's like you can still have fun if, in fact, and again, it's a little different, but I can argue it's more fun. It seems da- guy, uh, it seems daunting, guys. It really does seem daunting. Like there's no way I could stop drinking. I know. There's no w- there's no way. 
right? I mean, I mean, Jesus Christ, you gotta, you know, anyone who knows me knows, like, whoa, he stopped. Like it's, <laughs> right, right. You, but um, you can do it. You can do it, man. It's, what do you want for your life? You know, do you want to be sick, high blood pressure, a drunk? You know what I mean? Uh, wasting money not where you want to be, or do you want to stop? You know? Yeah. Do you ever think about that? Like, <laughs> I, know, I know I already know you, how you can respond to this, but the <laughs> money we've wasted. Ooh. Just a hundred grand, more than a hundred. I mean, it's a lot. It's it's many hundreds of thousands, or on just dumb shit in general. Just anything, right? Like you know, a lot of money. Just I think about that. I mean, you know, and we when 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 we were younger, like we spent five ten grand in Vegas on one trip. That's that's a four day weekend. That's like one time. I've been to Vegas fucking thirteen times. <laughs> right, right, What's right. thirteen times five grand? We'll just average it out. I mean, how much right. is that right there? Right. You know what I'm saying? That's thirteen trips of my life, and I've drinking for seventeen years. Are you kidding me? <laughs> right, right, right. right, right. Think about this, and this is like think about this. How many people would be alive right now if people didn't drink alcohol? Mm. Holy shit! Yeah. The murders. Yeah, the, uh, the fucking accidents, the DUIs, the falling when you're drinking, when you're pregnant, fall, you know, what, whatever, right, it is. whatever it is. How many human beings would not be dead if there was no drinking, like would be alive right now? That That's great. I, I think people don't think about that. Happy that's a crazy children thought. in their car who got killed, go going to school because some drunk. Are you kidding me? How many kids and people? It's got to be in the multiple, 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 multiple millions. I mean, think I, and again, guys, think about this. How many murders would happen without liquor? Right. Yeah. Or, I mean, maybe there'd probably there be still, still be some murders, but like because like crimes of passion. Right, right. Right. But a lot of people. Yeah. You'd be at the bars and shit. And they, yeah. Then it's the, you get murdered when someone's drunk. Like, you know what I'm saying? Especially like freaking. Uh, what's it called? When like the, the husband and wife fight. What's it called? Man? When they <laughs> when they fight uh, domestic. Like yeah. A, uh, domestic. Yeah. 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 Dumb. Like, um, bitch. <laughs> bitch, get over here. You like, know? Um. Yeah, man. Just think about that. Wow. Hey, let's talk about that. Uh. Those neighbors that got shot up each other, they got shot up the other oh, day. Oh yeah, that was a that, that was that, that like that bothered me. All right, so, I mean? so so let me try to paint the picture. Yeah, I, I see if you, yeah, I don't know if you guys. Let, let me try to paint this picture. So so I'm in the room. <laughs> Mike says, "Hey man, check this out." <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, "Okay, what is, what's this?" I'm like, "Okay, so I see <laughs> like a like a street in between two houses, and it's two guys, a, a guy and his wife arguing with a guy." Who is obviously the cross the street neighbor, right? Yep, yep. They're going back and forth. They're arguing. The guy, the single guy by himself, walks towards his house, and, it, it, and they're still yapping back and forth. The guy with his wife was like, "Fuck you, you're fucking pussy, you pussy," and he was like, he was trying to he, that rage. Yeah. And I, the way he was doing he's it, like, ah. he's like, "Fuck you, pussy, you ain't gonna do," you know. And I guess they've had issues in the past, so I guess that's an important part. Anyways. And the guy's like, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, fuck you or some shit, right? So he, go- so, t- so the guy goes in the house. The couple are sitting in the middle of the street, would you say arguing? Just like just middle, talking. Just, just like doing something that's stupid. Like just talking, not yeah. moving, but whatever. The guy comes out from across the street, the single dude. He starts walking back with a gun in his hand. Like, and they can see that because we can see they can see. Tape. Yeah, <laughs> we can and, see and that they can see And they're still just yapping at him. Th- and they're still yapping. What are you doing? And then the wife says something like on the lines like, like, what are you going to do or some shit, right? So then the guy shoots. The, first of all, the guy shot at the, the guy shot the couple's dude like six times and didn't hit him. Yeah, he's a horrible shot. From like three like feet dude, away. Like what? Like, and that's, <laughs> and, and, and that's just true because I saw it was in Pennsylvania. It's true. like, dude, after, you, if, after someone shoots at me once, I'm loose. <laughs> I'm right. not standing there. Like, you just did. And I don't want to listen. And those poor people are dead, and I feel bad. But, like, what, guys, what are you? He, sh- he just shot five times, and you're still standing here. You know? <laughs> right, right, like, right. If you run, at least maybe you have a chance. You're probably not going to get hit because he can't hit shit when he's right in front of you. <laughs> right, right, right. Like, right, he's right. a bad shot. He, uh, he literally missed, like, five shots. Like, you, like, ugh. I won't say it was point blank, but it was literally but like two, w- three like feet. You shouldn't shoot if you can't hit someone right. You know what I mean? <laughs> right. What are you doing? Anyway, so like the sixth or seventh time, it hit him. He goes, it, he's he, like, the guy oh, goes, he's like, oh, oh shit. no, call the police. Then he shoots the the wife, right? And so then it was an issue. Then he, then he went back. Yep. He went back. In the the guy who he shot earlier starts running away. The wife is still on the ground. 
The guy goes back in the house. Yep. There's still commotion outside. People are like, call the cops, call the cops. Da, 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 da. The lady's still in the middle of the ground. I'm assuming that the husband, because he, he's off the screen at this moment, is like right underneath he's the camera, there, yeah. but like struggling. Right. The guy comes back out with a rifle. AR-15. AR-15. Walks up to the chick and says, you should have shut your fucking <laughs> mouth, bitch, or something like yep, that. Yep. Shot her cold, black, cold turkey. Yep. She gone. And then slowly walked to the guy and said some more crazy shit, killed him, and then everything was quiet. Did he walk back in his room? And then killed himself. And he killed himself after a fucking pussy, you know? Yeah, it's like... That, that, like, that won't bother me because, like, it's just... It's senseless. It, I mean, it's your neighbor, and you're fighting over... And they were fighting over snow. I, I guess that time was about snow, but it was obviously a, a feud. That shit's so petty, guys. What? I wonder what the fuck... It, what, what leads a motherfucker... I ain't never. I don't think I've ever truly thought about like honestly killing someone. Me either. I've thought that I could. I know that I could to protect people that I love. See, that's but that's like, different. I, would I think ne- that's I, different. It's like not over like just being pissed I'm off. Like, yeah, right. I'd I rather just, just fight right. you. I will whoop your ass. You know, I'm not gonna kill you. It's right. just not. It's just not. <laughs> it's like, not even on my radar. That's unimaginable to me. I'm not gonna, <laughs> I'm not gonna kill this fucking person. Right. Yeah, so fuck yeah. him. We'll fight. He'll I'm teach a, him a lesson. I'm gonna whoop his ass. <laughs> right, bad. right, right, I'm not right. Gonna kill this man. Right, that's so stupid. You know what I mean? Over some fucking snow. You know, like the like the young generation, oh. like in the hood. Yeah. It's like you get. It's like part of the culture. They have like no regard. Like what is that? No regard for human life. I just. I and we have that. such high regard for it. It's just, yeah. And again, again, I am religious, so I believe in a God, and that's what's going to be constant. See, I'm not very religious, not. and I'm still right. You still to have just a fucking moral mind. Like, like I don't want to die. Well, so why would I want somebody else to die? Like, it's, you know what I'm saying? Like, Right, over pride, over just, something stupid, just, petty. It's just, I don't know. It's, it's, I would argue that people that kill people could all be, like, insane. You know what I mean? Arguably. I'm not saying everyone is. I don't want that to be a damn defense. But, like, to me, it's crazy. Like, how do you want to kill, like, how... That's so out of I, mean, I, so I can see for me. like a revenge thing, maybe like somebody killed your wife. Right. Yeah. A hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah. 100%. I can see you being pissed off. and want that. I can see you doing that. But just murdering people. Yeah. But like just murdering people Gang because banger or Jeffrey Dahmer. Like, how do you do shit like that? Now, th- that's definitely Eating a sick. Pe- like, you, you know, know what I mean? That's, yeah, that's like, really weird. What is there's something like, you know. Now, like, what about that movie that lie? Like, what if you had to eat a human being? Remember that movie back yeah, in the day? Yeah. I don't know if I would. <laughs> just, what if I was like, Mikey, eat me, nigga. <laughs> hey, I need you to way. eat. Nigga. No. I'm about to die. Eat me, nigga. No, I can't. No, that's just, no, there's no way. It's just time to, di- listen, man. You just, it's just time just to die, then. Die. It, it, I mean, it, we're going to die one, one day. Like, it's just time now. You know, death, I mean, I believe that when you die, you're just dead, and there's, like, nothing. I mean, that ain't bad. Right. I mean, you're just sleeping. You know what I mean? That's it. Like, do you remember what you were before you were born? No. Do you remember what the fuck you were last well, weekend? Right. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> nigga, I don't remember what happened before I was born. The shit wasn't bad. I wasn't happy, mad, sad, or angry. I was that's, just, oh, that's a good way to look. I never saying? looked at it like it's that. It's the same way when, when, when you die. I don't remember shit before I was born. Excuse me. I ain't going to remember shit after I'm dead. The it's one the thing, thing about the past, you know? though, the one thing that makes it not as equal is that you can still look and see what happened, whereas in the future... Yeah. There's no it stops there. Whereas you might not remember what it felt like, but you can still go see through pictures and oh, people's right, opinions. Right. So it's not you as know equal. But it's I see what you're saying though. It's gotta be a little right. different. Right. I mean you don't know shit because you're dead. Like that's what I'm saying. Once you're <laughs> once once you're di- once you're di- and, and right. And so we think. Right. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Because how do we I mean that's, that, that's what we what think. We believe, or, you know what but I mean? that's what that's what it seems they're, like. They think they're going to heaven or whatever, and that's great too. Or you know, I'm not you know. I mean, listen, man, it's their own, but. our brain, and I know you're a religious guy, but like our brains are so powerful. Yeah. Think about everything you've ever experienced and what you know of the universe has been computed through your brain. Isn't the brain the most powerful thing in the world, right? Yeah, it's the most powerful freaking machine in the world. I mean, and now this brain. is my, I, I know you're religious, so you're going to laugh at it's this. It's pinky in the brain. <laughs> <laughs> but so we know that. We everything is like it, they, it gets computed through your brain through your eyes, right? So whatever you see, your brain calculates it for you to think. Yep. Right. 
What's to say? <laughs> Again, this is just high talk. <laughs> What's to say that we're that that we're not in that now? How do you know that? Because because our brains are so me- mechanic, like it, and we don't even we don't even understand it really yet. Like they understand a lot of it, but they don't understand all. Like they don't understand a lot of shit. Yeah. And they haven't even figured out what the so- this is a little off topic, but they haven't even figured out like what the fuck is a soul. Yeah. And we all feel it. What is that like? That inner voice, God shit, right there. You know, like your your psyche, like what? Like they haven't even, they don't even know what the fuck that is. Yeah, that's crazy. Or why we sleep? What the fuck dreams? Like what the fuck is that? Like I what mean, is that? Who else loves dreams? I love dreams. Dreams are fucking fantastic. You ever get like? You ever get nightmares? I, oh, all the time. And those are, but those are still fun. Like, <laughs> like, like, like. I mean, they're creepy, but they're still fun. You know what I mean? Just what are some of your? I've never, you know, I never really have horrible nightmares. My nightmares are like I'm about to die. Yeah, mine are more weird, but it's just uh, like I don't know. Like I'd be having a dream like there's <laughs> a, like there's a fucking alien like in the fucking house. Well, you like this shit and, and too. It's like, gonna come and gra- like that's you know what I mean. And I've like scra- like I've caught myself like actually freaking screaming, you know, like waking myself up, like damn, you know. And then I'm fine because I know you know I, I mean I ain't afraid of no alien, you know. But um, yeah, it's, but it's still pretty scary though. You ever had you know? like some great dreams? All the time, man. <laughs> you know, I used to have dreams a lot where I could fly. God, that was fun. Like, dreams are great because, like, you it's like you're doing it. Right, right. It's like you feel That's it. It's so fun. You know, you know? I uh, I forgot who I was talking to. I love to. that. I was like, quite often, I've had dreams that I was playing ball and, like, hanging out with LeBron James for, like, at least ten times. That's crazy. <laughs> Think about this. And I remember thinking, like, yeah, it was just a dream. I remember, like, I, but I remember in the dream feeling like, Oh, like LeBron's my nigga. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like we just talking. Yeah. And then I remember the person I forgot who it was, but she goes, "That's actually kind of dope because like you actually like to you, you got to really do it, right? And it so we think that it didn't happen because we were sleep, obviously, right? But in in the dream, it felt like yeah. it was. Think yeah. of like that's weird to it's me. It's real in your dream. It's real in your dream. Maybe towards the end, you could be like, oh, okay, this is so some bullshit. Fun. So what if? So what if you could? Go to a doctor and take a pill, and you could be put in a coma, and you could dream forever for the rest of your life. Wouldn't that be kind of fun? You might have to take it. Uh, like, if you could just dream. Well, well, hold on. Hold on. The entire time, <laughs> the rest of your life. Well, hold on, though. Cause, because dreams is fucked up shit. Yeah. So that you think that's part of it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So but, whatever your normal dreams are. But you're in control are. of it because it's, because it's your dream. You know? so but I think, well. Some sort of control over it. I feel like I don't have. Well, do you feel like you have a control in your dreams? It's weird, kind of sometimes. Yes, yeah, but it's not like full control. Yeah. It's like a subconscious yeah. control, right? And exactly. how can you never remember the beginnings or end? You remember the end, but you never remember the beginnings. It's interesting. Some dreams I don't remember at all, and I wish I did because they were fun. Because like I remember having a good dream, but I don't remember it. You know what I mean? I've had uh, I've had some exes. That they say that they always knew their dreams. And they can remember them like weeks and months later. I can't do that. Yeah. I Some people say write them down. Like I don't. Yeah. I've never tried that. You know. Like, can you remember a dream right now? Just a dream that you've had. Yeah. One. It's the one when I was flying. It, this was an old dream too, so it's probably. So it was, so it was a really good it, one then. Yeah, but, I, but and then I've had it a couple times, so that was nice. I, I, I wonder had, what that means. I haven't had it like ten years probably though. But do I you think dreams it. mean something? No. So you think that's how it was? It. I think it's just your brain. You're just having fun. Or your brain's just giving you something to do while yeah. you're sleeping. Yeah, you know I'm not very like superstitious with that kind of shit. I'm just like, yeah. Well, what about the fact that techno like so like Ready Player One? You saw that? I haven't seen it, but I but know you know what it's it. about? Yeah. Where like and where you can like go into this like virtual world and and pretty much live there. And the idea is that it's such it's so far in the future that everyone just decides to live in this world because it's it could be whatever you want, right? You want to be a fucking sounds fun, right? Here's the question I have for you. If you was given that situation, would you want to be uploaded into that? Pro- I probably would. I think I would, too. Yeah. I was like, wait a minute. It's, it's like, cause think about where, what it's going to be like. If you can get whatever you want. Yeah. I think it'd be fun. You know? Now, I would obviously, I would miss my family and friends. No, but, no, but, but a part of the game was they can all get. But you could upload them, too. Upload yeah. them, too. I think I'd be good with that. There's an episode on Netflix uh, of uh, of uh, what's this shit called? Black Mirror. Did you ever watch those? I haven't watched that. 
What nigga? I'm it's telling you, it's extremely good. I need some new. Let, let me tell you what it is. It's uh, it's like a a, a, a futuristic Twilight Zone. So every episode is different in its own thing, but it's all set in the same universe, if that makes any sense. Oh. So I'm, t- I'm telling you, excellent show. Definitely dip thinking, because all this shit, you can see it like, oh, shit, that's probably going to happen. A lot of technology yeah. shit. Like there's one episode where, and I think they're doing this in China, where your social score, whatever score you get on your social media app, was you got better benefits in life. Like if your score was lower, you're considered like low class. Um, like interesting. It, like if you had a low, if you had a low score, you couldn't get like loans and shit. So people were going <laughs> around faking, trying yeah. to get the high score, and it's and you could kind of see that. And if I'm not mistaken, I think they're doing that like over in Asia. No shit. So it's I think it's the technology. It's the old folks. Y'all better. I'm telling y'all, this shit is only exponentially getting more and more vicious. Like motherfuckers are scared. I'm technology. It's here. Oh, I just saw a video on Facebook. It was a self-driving car picked up a guy and, and it took him no and it took him to Walmart, like there was nobody driving. It was like whoa. So so it's here now. It's, it's here. Yeah, it's I just saw it. Yeah, the dude went. To, I'm like, and it did a good job. It made. Yeah. A, I mean, it was it it made a left turn. It like I'm like, how does it? Is, do did that? it did it seem like a little off or did it felt like this normal one, as fuck? This one seemed perfect. I'm like, how does? I mean, that's just smart, man. Because that's hard. Because it's, you know, it's just. It's well, cause, well, here's the problem with that. So here's where some people have a problem with the automatic. First of all, it's going to save lives. Yes. If no one's got a drink drive, no one's like I- idiot mistakes from if people. Every, if there's no more driving for people, it 100% saves lives. Right. Or um, I'm sorry, it'll save lives. Excuse me. Here's the problem. So the, the, so the idea is to save lives, right? And the computer is going to be taught the idea is to preserve life. That's the whole purpose of the shit. There's going to be situations where the car is have to decide life and i i would imagine they're going to set it up so if the car has to compute between three people dying or y- or you dying they're going to probably choose you yeah i don't know if people are going to like that i know that of course they're not so what i what i again i don't know i would say that <laughs> there would have to be where the car takes care of the person in the car and that's it it's going to make the best decision for the person that is in the car with it i don't think that would make more, i think more that would help me. yeah because people, people wouldn't, I don't know if people would go for that. I mean, I don't know. I mean, would you, I mean, I don't know. That's the question I'm asking you. Would yeah. you go for that? No. Because <laughs> fuck the people. Just, I mean, no, it's just, it's, I mean, you know, it's, you know, self-preservation isn't a bad thing. It's just, that's what we're meant to do. Right. You right, know what I mean? Right. Like, it's a natural thing, you know? Right. Not that I might not make a decision against that, but that's my decision. Not no fucking robot. <laughs> you know what right, I mean? Right, right, right. Like, if I say, hey, no, stop, there's five kids, I'll die. Okay, that's my choice, but I don't want a fucking robot doing that. So, let me ask you this. What <laughs> if it gets a situation where they're like, no, this is what we're doing it, and it's federally the thing. Everyone has to, all Ubers now, it's all this. The idea is we're going to save lives, and we can guarantee it. There is a small chance there's a point oh 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 one percent chance that you could die. Are you gonna write? Are you gonna be okay with writing these things? I mean, yeah, I, I'm sure I probably would. Yeah, because there's shit that like I. But we do shit right now that we know, like we could take a hit or something that that we know that there's a point oh oh percent chance of dying. It's you know, there's things I I I I would fight for, you know, in life, and I would make a stand, and that's but I don't know. I think you know, kind of like people like fucking wearing masks. Like okay, you know what? I'm sick of you motherfuckers saying put on the mask. <laughs> I'm going to put this fucking cloth thing on because it makes you feel good. Fine. You know what I mean? Like, just at some point, like, I just don't give a fuck anymore. I'll do it. You know? And I think so a lot of people will just say fine. You know? You see in Florida, in Atlanta, that they don't give a fuck yeah. about COVID at all? Yeah. It's great. It's fucking fantastic. Yeah. They all just, like, and I guess uh, so this podcast it's I'm listening to. Fucking great life. He was like, you're actually a pussy in Florida if you wear one. <laughs> that not <laughs> here's my thing again, <laughs> like listen everyone make a decision that's best for them like that's how I be- like listen like you, if you don't want to wear a mask that's great it, and if you want to that's great I don't believe in shaming other people for making a decision what they do with their own life you know I just don't I just don't buy that shit you know and I don't care what your argument you're saying no I don't believe that sorry it's your responsibility to take care of your fucking life sorry yeah. it's, not, it's not somebody else's you know um, it, 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 I mean do what you want to oh you know what that means so have you seen Kobe just posted this one? I saw somebody else too about the transgender men playing women's sports. No, oh, I saw that. That like, was what brutal. are you like? What are you like? Like, where's your take? I'm gonna tell y'all where mine is. Right? <laughs> no, what's your take? I'm gonna that? tell you this right now. I am firmly, firmly against 
that. Especially with, like in MMA. He's like fucking, there was is this like is this not common? Like and there's people who they fight for that. I don't know. Listen, guys. Like he's like six ten. <laughs> like, this is a fucking man. It's not okay. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Especially it, it, here's what I think is the most not okay in competitive things without the females having a choice. If the if the girl yeah. wants to say, you know what, I can fight that he man looking go, bitch, go, then hey, that's your free fucking will. I'm cool with that. Yeah, no, but I, you should you should have an option, and you shouldn't get a huff like because this one dude did that, went to like UFC type side and was beating the dog like shit. That, out like of women. I would shoot him. Like, are you fucking kidding right. me? You're not gonna do that to women. But know? to him, he's like, I, I am a woman. <laughs> I'm blowing your brain. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 um, <laughs> so here's the I, so guys, so, and let me be clear, guys. Like, listen. If a man wants to become a woman, woman, I, I, I so don't care. Like it ain't even a thought. I don't give a fuck what you can do with your own body, right? That's up to you. If it makes you happy, go ahead and do it. But you're not about to go fight my daughter, in your <laughs> I'm a, no. That's got, like how, like I don't understand. There's people who who have who have used that argument saying that people are against trans. I no one's against. I'm not against transgender rights. Like if so if if a dude chops off his fucking dick, okay, and gets tits, it wants to go in a woman's bathroom. I, I personally I don't care about that. He he put in the work, okay. Oh, yeah, he He's was, a yeah. fucking woman now, right? But I still don't think that he should be in women's sports because he can't yeah, change his yeah. entire like your DNA, he's, your bone structure. He's, he's got a man leg still. Testosterone. Even the if he was born a man. Even you if can't there's that. even if there was things you know, to get yeah. rid of testosterone, you, you still, still have it in your have soul. In you. right. yeah. So that's where I don't that's where I don't and so that's two separate things. Like stop trying to lump everyone into this whole no. No, it's a sports thing. We yeah, don't care right. about you anything competitive like that. at all. I don't But not gonna, it should know. be up to the female's choice. I, yes. Yes. Like, so I, I just have to fight this motherfucker because yeah. he says he's a woman. I think this one was going to be, hopefully it gets pushed back because obviously every single conservative ain't going to fuck out of that at all. And then a lot of us Democrats and liberals are like that too. Like, guys, listen, this just not, this isn't like, this is, this should be common sense. They shouldn't be playing in women's sports. You know what I mean? Or vice versa. I mean, I, I guess I, if a woman wants to play in a men's sport, fine. If she's freaking good enough. Right. But still, it's it's just you don't want people to get un, unfair advantages and hurt unfairly. You know what I mean? Yeah, because so, this is ridiculous. Come on, guys. Like, just fucking. Let's yeah, I'll die on that sword. Just, yeah, I'm, I'm very strong on I that. I will not. Like, that's. Come on. Let's stop being crazy. Now. Like, the dude was you know? beating the dog shit yeah. and destroying all the records. How do we allow that to happen? <laughs> a man just beats a woman on TV for free and, and gets paid? Because he identifies as a dolphin. Get the fuck out of <laughs> Like I said, in the, uh, someone put. Like, so what. Hey, listen, y'all. If I at 18 said I'm gonna be a woman, I'm telling you right now, I'm top five best WNBA players. Okay, <laughs> right. me. Like, there's some women that are good. Like Candace Parker, she's a good at. You know what I'm saying? No, nah, but, but if you like, listen, known. let me tell you something. If I'm hooping at 18, I'm top five WNBA players, right? Ever. And there's like 25 million men that are probably be just like you know what I'm saying. So guys, we gotta stop being silly. You know? Yeah, I don't. I don't understand. And why people have problems with like, like those kind of like people? You want to like hit this? Yeah, give me one. I don't understand why people have problems. Yeah. With, I I, I don't give a fuck what you do. I just don't I, I don't like the, the the competitive sports shit. Right. But anything else, you know, anything else, I'm totally okay with you doing whatever the because yeah. I don't care what I don't you care. do. Like, no, like, it's like, we, I, like, but I can't let you just beating up a woman's right ass. Right, wrong. Like, I don't even care about the right or wrong. I don't care what you do with your own body. Right? right. If you ain't hurt nobody else, I I just don't. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm cri- like it doesn't even matter. Like I just that's between you and God. Like I don't care what you do. You know what I mean? Right. Right. Um, I you know because I'm a fucking sinner too. You know. Right. I, I mean I do all kinds of shit that it's wrong. You know. So I would never even care anyway. You know. So. Yeah, but I, I uh, yeah I'll, I'll die on that sword all day, man. Crazy stuff. Because I won't do it. All right, nigga. Well, we had a we had a minute twenty. Good, good, man. man. I did yeah, see, how, see how fast that went? Goes by fast. I think we hit a lot of good topics too. And and the thing is, we can easily do this. We've done this. How oh. many times have we done this over our lives? Just, you know? Yeah, just talking about stuff. So. Uh, like I said, you always welcome to get on here, man. <laughs> yeah, it's so I'll be easy. Back on. I like to spread them out. You know, make my appearances rare. The rare, <laughs> the rare fruit. You know. Um, <laughs> but uh, where can motherfuckers find you? You want motherfuckers to find you? 
Um, no. I know you don't remember. No. Uh, Mike Mac Jr. eighty five is my Instagram. There you go. Um, there you go. Oh, I got a, I got my first haircut in <laughs> a year. Shout out to Dude Can Cut, man. They uh, know what they're doing. Oh, you they went over there? Up. Yep. Cam and Johnny did a great job. Who cut you up, Johnny? Uh, Cam did. Cam did. So and you know, it's good. I've never had Johnny cut my hair. Really? Johnny's really good. He's like Johnny's the best. Johnny's really good. Yeah, he's he knows what he's doing. He's like impossible. all of them are good, but Johnny's really good. He's like impossible to get sometimes. Yeah, and he like freaking costs more too. Like I won't pay you no more, man. Come on. How much? Was, I I went online. Look at that. It was fifty bucks. Uh, it was thirty two for now. It's more if you get your face too. Depending on who it is. Yeah. Right. So price like, is going up in the world. Yeah, there's inflation, right? And I get it too for because the pandemic and shit. Raise the minimum wage, guys. Yeah. You know? But I but I get it. I get the. Uh, you know, during the pandemic, you're going to pay more prices to help keep the yeah, doors open. Yeah, I, yeah. I get that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So I'm yeah, okay yeah. with that now. Uh, but yeah, it, but but shit goes up, right? Like $20 used to be a cut. Yeah, I know. 10 10 when I was younger. But, 16, the, but then when you go to a place like Dude Can Cut, right? And it's like nice. It's a real good, like they do everything right. They do it right. And it's fun you know, in there. Right, you're laughing. You're talking. It's, it's, clean. it's clean quality. Right, it's not no thuggery, you know. No, it's but, just, it, but it's still but like it's still, you have fun in that bitch. You know, it's good black men. You know, it's like people, it's like you'll right? you'll pay money for that. Yeah, you're just having a good conversation. It's great, you know. Yeah, that's a uh, black sh- culture. Sh- shout out to Johnny and them. That dude can cut. Go I want to get your man, ass on the show, man. Yeah, I'm gonna get him on the show. I think yeah, he'll Johnny, do it come too. On the show. Yeah, um, y'all can find me at Chris Cares None. Uh, before we leave, thank you to all y'all coming through on the merchandise. It's getting crazy. Over 600 good items stuff. sold. That's good stuff. In less than what three and a half, four months. <laughs> uh, I got a website, CaresNone.com, coming out very soon. It's almost ready. Cares so none. that's going to be kind of dope. Uh, so thank y'all, man. And and I really, it's 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 still weird. That I've created this thing and didn't really, it just kind of fell into, you know, it wasn't a thing. And then I didn't really have a passion for clothing again. I kind of, maybe, because remember I was GQ, so I, and not that this is a GQ yeah. esteem, but for fashion, I kind of was into that. But I think I'm into it for the, for different reasons now. I'm not even, I'm not doing it to be cool. I'm kind of doing it just yeah, fun. to send a message. You know what I'm saying? It's just perfect. So, all right. All right, y'all. Care's done. We out this bitch. <laughs> I said this is done.